guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another day today is sunday um so oh this is the start of a new weekly vlog y'all i feel like i'm losing track of all these vlogs but so today is sunday yeah today's sunday um i did a little bit of running around today did not bring the camera um but it's cool it is what it is y'all ignore my closet i'm currently doing laundry i'm washing my clothes right now i am washing my sheets um so yeah sunday just like a reset day i honestly love weekends like this um because it just makes me feel like a grown woman it just makes me feel like you know an adult on top of their stuff you know so um what i'm about to do now i'm just cleaning my place is a disaster my place gets dirty so fast and it's literally just me and dior um but yeah i'm about to go ahead and put my groceries away start to cook um and yeah y'all weren't gonna tell me that I had lipstick on my chin that's fake today is saturday and i'm about to step out get my nails done run a couple errands um yeah i'm about to step out get my nails and my feet done run a couple of errands um so i'm gonna take you guys along with me i wanted to of course like i said dior might as well start a youtube channel he loves every time i turn on this camera he was just taking a nap every time he hears that little doop he jumps up and wants to be seen so say hey to dior um but yeah today is saturday i'm about to step out run some errands yo dior We're about to step out, run some errands. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, all this stuff was in my recent um, haul. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. Um, but I'm wearing this white top, these little army pants. I'm not sure what shoes I'm gonna throw on my feet, to be honest. Maybe some sandals. Um, like I said, I'm just running to go get my nails and feet done. I'm wearing these Prada shades that my friend got me for my birthday i really like them cute um and then i'm wearing the bag that i got from ebay and i just have my i'm wearing my natural hair y'all i had to take that little u part give it a little break um something about filming my scalp i love it like i love being able to fill my scalp so i took that out um a few days ago washed my hair flat ironed it trimmed my ends so it's just like a nice little natural look don't have any lashes on is wearing my mascara giving my lashes a little break um but yeah y'all i'm about to go ahead and run out get this stuff done i'm gonna take you with me um I'm, i think i'm gonna just carry the camera instead of the jet like the tripod i think i may just carry the camera um because i don't think it'll fit in my little bag but yeah y'all let's go ahead and go i'm trying to film a little tiktok um not tiktok i'm trying to film a little instagram reel um so we'll see how much footage i get let me turn my lights off and i haven't ate anything i haven't eaten at all today i just had water and coffee and i'm craving olive garden even olive garden so i may take myself out to lunch like i don't like olive garden i only like their soup and salad so i think i may eat that before i get my nails done i don't know i'm gonna take y'all with me all right y'all i just got in the car i don't know why i'm feeling very moody today i've been feeling moody recently I'm just very irritated so i'm about to facetime this legit see if he answers if he doesn't answer i'm just about to block like that's the mood i'm in that's the mood i'm in hey can you hear me 
Yo. Blocked. If your connection isn't working, you're blocked. That's just irritating. I just tried... If I just tried calling you and you didn't answer or your connection is bad, I'm gonna block you like that. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Anyways, I'm about to go ahead and step out. Let's go. I'm so irritated. I just feel like in one of my crazy moods. I just left Olive Garden. That was so cool. It just was so like maybe reminisce. So back home, I'm from Winston Salem, North Carolina, the 336, and like there's not a lot, you know, down there, like as much as Houston as far as restaurants and stuff. So I remember like um, my mom. I would sometimes like drive down home to visit my parents, my family. Um, while I was in like college and stuff and when I would help my mom at the salon anytime I was home um, me and my mom like we would stop and get lunch and we would always go to Olive Garden and get the soup and salad for lunch and it just brought back so many memories doing that with my mom and not just my mom like my sister and I would go um, sometimes me and a friend would go Olive Garden like soup and salad that was just the place to be you know um and i haven't had it since back home and i just woke up craving some nice soup and some salad so that's why i went to olive garden and i just love eating lunch by myself and like taking myself out that's something i've been doing for a long time like even back home just like little dates with myself i don't know i love it i love time to myself and it's like a vibe and if you haven't you know taken yourself out went out to eat by yourself definitely try it um it could be a little you know weird at first but then when you realize like yo it's me like this is my life if i want to go take myself out to eat take i can take myself out to eat so it was cool it was nice um i enjoyed it it was okay like the food i remember it tasting better back home for some reason I don't know if it's the recipes here, but back home it tasted better. That's all I'm going to say. But it wasn't too bad. And it was so cheap. Um, the tip and everything, I was like, it was like less than $15. I'm like, what the heck? And I just went in there, had my little booth, and just chilled out for, you know, an hour or so. And it was just so peaceful, so relaxing. I feel like I needed that. Um, so yeah y'all i feel satisfied i don't feel too full i didn't eat that much bread um so yeah i feel good all right y'all so i just made it to uh bath and body works and like i was saying this one right here this one is like my little secret like not a little secret but i feel like all the other bath and body works be so packed like and just out of stuff but this one i feel like a lot of people don't know about it because it's like a temporary location um and it doesn't even show up on like the maps whenever you google it um this one is in rice village um so this is the one i go to to you know stock up very low key it's not crowded in here you don't have i don't even think they're playing music in here it's like <laughs> you know it's just kind of like the bare minimum i went to bath and body works picked up some stuff so i wanted to show you guys all that i got um so i just got some more bathroom soap uh what the what is it why does it sound like that Anyways, um, so I picked up some more hand soap. I love the mahogany teak wood. It's like a classic scent. Um, this is on sale for $3.50, so I picked this up for my bathroom. 
So I got this. And then I got some organs. Let me show you all the ones that I got. I just got five of them. So now I'm like hyped up to clean. Um, so I could swap out my plugs. These things, I go through these things so quick. Like they run out so fast. Um, but yeah, so I just got five. So um I got this one. They only had literally this one left. I was so annoyed because I kind of wanted more. The um, sea salt and sails. Really like this scent. Um, this is going to be my bathroom scent. So I'm happy that I was able to at least cop one of these for the bathroom. And then for my main area, um, I picked up the summer boardwalk scent. Um, this is a new one for me. I normally like. I, this is my first time smelling this one, um, but I really like the way it smelled. Um, so I thought this would be a good like main living area scent. So I got three of these because I put one in my kitchen, one in my living room, and then one by Dior's um, litter, so that the whole main area can have like the same scent. So I got three of those, and then for my bedroom. Um, I like the mahogany teak wood, but my friend Sheena got me this beautiful candle for my birthday. Um, the Santal or Santel, Santal 26 um, candle. Let me show you guys. She got me this beautiful candle for my birthday. Um, so I've been burning this recently in my bedroom. And I didn't want a scent that would clash with this because this is such an amazing scent. Like, I'm obsessed you guys, like, I can't even describe the smell. Like, you just have to smell it. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. It, not gonna lie, it did take me a little bit to get used to it. When I first burned it, I was like, huh? But then as it was burning, I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, it just smelled up my whole room with this beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, so I wanted to get something that wouldn't take away from this. Um, and I thought the mahogany teak would be, be a little too strong. Um... So, instead, I picked up this In The Star scent. Um, I thought this would complement it pretty well. Um, so, yeah, I've got this one. So, that's all that I got from um, Bath and Body Works. Now, what I'm about to do, I'm about to go ahead and entertain Dior for a little bit because he was on one when I got home. So, I'm about to play with him for a little and then I'm gonna probably link up with a friend in a little bit um to bring them their birthday gift because it's their birthday today um and yeah then I think I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night guys um I have been doing this thing where I've been trying not to drink I've been you know going to the gym trying to eat somewhat healthy um it's the weekend so I, I'm letting myself eat whatever um but yeah, so I've but just been trying to like stay in recently and like not go out and drink. Um, it is my friend's birthday, so I'm like, who knows? I may end up drinking, but I'm really trying not to. So this has been week number two of me not drinking and not gonna lie, I feel good. Now, yesterday I was real tempted because, you know, my new drink is now Douce, like, that is my new drink of choice and I have a bottle in the fridge and I was looking at it and I was looking at like the drinks I could make with it and I was just like really craving liquor you guys like I was craving alcohol I'm like oh no 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 so I literally had to force myself not to drink um and I was like yeah this is a problem like I gotta like really cut back um like I gotta really cut back. I can see a difference in my overall health. Like, I feel like I didn't realize how much I was drinking, you guys, like, until people would say, man, you go out a lot. Like, literally everyone would be like, you're always outside. Like, you're always drinking. And my sister, like, a year ago had a talk with me. She was like, I'm just telling you, like, I'm kind of concerned because you've been going out a whole lot and you've been drinking a whole lot. And I remember I got so defensive with her and, like, we started arguing because I'm like, what do you mean? It didn't feel like I was going out that much. But then when I look, like, I was looking through all of my pictures from, like, when I first moved here and, like, the summer and, like, I was just looking at everything and I'm like, wow, I really feel like I went through this, like, dark phase of just 
drinking and going out um and that's not okay and like i started to see a difference in like my weight in my skin um and just my overall like i don't know like my overall energy so that's definitely something um that i have been noticing and something i'm trying to like work on i'm not gonna say i'm never gonna drink again but it's just like something i'm trying to cut back on um and just spending time like with myself and like not having alcohol be a part of it i love how i'm having this deep talk with y'all knowing good and well that i if i go out tonight I'm going to probably turn up, but it is what it is. It's in moderation. It's rambling at this point. I'm going to go ahead and cut the clip, okay? And if I end up doing anything cool later on, I'll bring you guys. But if not, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, so I just got myself some flowers the other day. Um, this is your sign to treat yourself and go get yourself some flowers. Like, you don't always need to wait on a man to get you flowers. Like, you could literally get yourself flowers. And this just made me so happy. It's been a while since I got myself flowers. Um, so I did this the other day and made this little bouquet. As you see, these are already dying. I just don't understand. So we're going to go ahead and turn that around. Okay. <laughs> I'll rewater these today. But yeah, I just got these flowers. They just put me in such a good mood. I cleaned my house. Um, and it's just, you know, the little things. It's important to do stuff for yourself. Um, to celebrate, you know, good moments. And I there was this post saying, like, that we need to celebrate ourselves. Like, we need to treat ourselves. Like... We get so caught up. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But we, I'm speaking really for myself too. Oh, can y'all see? I um, trimmed, I, this is my real hair. I washed it, did a treatment, flat ironed it, and I trimmed my ends. I actually cut a good amount off. Um, but I don't know, I'm kind of feeling my natural hair. Like I just kind of wanted to wear my real hair out for a little. And I kind of like it. Um, but anyways, we get really caught up in like work and our day-to-day -day routine that we forget to treat ourselves. Like, you know, and it goes beyond, you know, I get my nails done, my toes done, you know. But like it goes beyond that. Like sometimes it's good to just like take some time to yourself and just like, I don't know, enjoy yourself and just like, Treat yourself to nice things like some flowers, you know? Everyone's different. Everyone's budget can afford different things. You know, some people can treat themselves to a spontaneous, you know, out of the country vacation. Some people can treat themselves to, you know, a cup of coffee or a glass of wine or, you know, a shirt. You know, just little things that you enjoy. It doesn't have to be all the time, but like, I don't know, it's just something that I want to do more often because I don't have a problem like showing love and showing up for others but when it comes to myself sometimes it's like I forget to like I get so hard on myself um so yeah that's a sign to go get some flowers treat yourself and I'm about to order this food um and probably just chill out I can't wait to share it with you guys um what it is I don't know exactly when I'm going to very soon though because it starts literally in like a month um so very soon I'll share with you guys and kind of do like a whole story of everything and I just can't wait to share everything but yeah let's just say God is good everything is working out and you know there's it's pressure it's pressure it's hard it's tough but everything is working out <laughs> good afternoon guys welcome to another day in my life this is an update on my flowers i am so sad y'all <laughs> i don't know what happened i don't know what oh okay now i see what happened oh okay you see how the man i wish i noticed this sooner because i was like i've been watering and i cut the stems and everything but yeah okay so they're not can you see like the stems are not in the water so that's what happened they're like floating i don't understand because when i got this bouquet the flowers were down but i think they used like 
strings to hold the flowers down. Okay, that's probably what happened. The stems have not been in water. Cause I'm like, what happened? Like, why is it like that? Anyways, it's all good. But that's an update on these flowers. Um, I'm trying to sit them out here so it has more direct light, but it's so sad. I've been watching this new show called Snowflake Mountain on Netflix. Um, if you guys have not seen this, I recommend checking it out. Um, it's about these spoiled kids that are sent to this mountain and kind of forced to grow and like it's really funny there are so many i started watching it last night y'all i've never laughed at a show as much as i've been laughing with this one like i <laughs> there was this one part that i rewinded like three times and i just was crying laughing like it's just really funny um so i just finished it um there's eight episodes so be sure to check this out it's on netflix i really liked it and um yeah it was a cute little show hey, good morning and happy sunday i am watching i love listening to um td jakes in the morning today is sunday morning so i'm listening to him making my coffee with my little candle um so i woke up super early it's literally like nine o'clock almost 10 let me see 9 43 um i woke up early because i was filming a get ready with me yesterday but i had to stop filming because my face was peeling it was like i got like sunburn or something like this side of my face was like all peeling um so i had to stop um filming because like my skin was so dry and was like cracking and it looked horrible so i was like i can't keep so i just stopped so i woke up early so that i could finish filming like the next part of it also so um i took some pictures yesterday and i wanted to show you this app that i use to kind of plan not really plan my post because i used to be all into like trying to make sure my feed looks like perfect but that is so stressful and annoying and it kind of takes like a lot of time so i don't really care about like trying to make it look perfect but i do like for my pictures to flow if that makes sense um but yeah, so what I what I use, um, I use the app called, it's right here, um, it's called Preview, um, and this just kind of helps me like see how a picture is going to look at my feed, um, and if it looks crazy, then I won't like post it. So I took these three pictures yesterday, they came out so nice, like look how cute, the lighting, I went at the perfect time take these pics I love this one and I love this one they came out like such good quality like I didn't have to obviously I lowered the exposure but that's all I do with my pictures I don't use like filters or anything um, I just lower the um, exposure um, and I'm like oh my gosh like I like I love these pictures so I'm trying to decide which one of these three I want to go in my feed. So I uploaded all of them here. Um, and these are obviously like the pictures I've already posted. And I just kind of go through and like hide or delete the ones. Like, okay. So between these two, I'm like, which one do I like with the feed? Y'all, I gotta work on my poses. If I put my hand up, one more time <laughs> i need to work on my poses um i get so awkward when i'm taking pictures that i go back to the same freaking pose but it is what it is so okay between these two i like that this one is close up but i like that this one shows like the whole fit my fit yesterday was giving very much like um 2000s vibes and i really really liked it so and I like that I'm like looking down. I don't know. Okay, so let's see how 
Oh. Who's that? Who is that? All right, y'all, I figured it out. That was my wax appointment for my Brazilian. Um, I've had to reschedule this appointment so many times and I was really looking forward to finally getting in and getting my wax like it is overdue and now okay I'm at the call to reschedule because I need a wax immediately hey guys <laughs> welcome to another day in my life so today is actually today's Saturday um, so today will be the last day of this vlog um, but yeah I'm gonna take you guys out with me I actually have already been out early this morning um, and then came back here chilled talked to my sister FaceTimed her um, talked to my mom and now I'm about to go ahead and step out because it just finished raining um, I have a couple errands I need to run and I'm gonna take you guys with me the other night I went out with my friend Sheena we went to get sushi that was nice I didn't vlog just cuz honestly I haven't um, we haven't hung out it seems like in forever it seems like it's been forever but it's only been like two weeks but we just had a lot of catching up so I didn't want to you know film or anything so I didn't do that but I did film a Instagram reel and I wanted to show it with you guys I mean you've probably already seen it if you follow me on Instagram but I love the way it turned out um it was kind of like interactive so when I was getting ready I posted um like outfit options and I had you guys help me pick and um i decided to make a little reel out of it and i like the way it turned out but i feel so weird because like i did a voiceover and i don't like my voice y'all um hence why when i make these vlogs y'all let me not say i don't like my voice i'm grateful i have a voice you know there are some people that you know don't have a voice so i'm really grateful i have my voice so let me not say that but I don't like the sound of my voice, which is weird because some guys that I talk to, they're like, I like your voice. I'm like, I don't understand what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> my voice can be annoying, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't really care for hearing myself speak. Um, so hence why whenever I vlog like my videos i don't re-watch my videos back because if i listen to my voice for too long like i get annoyed and i just wouldn't end up posting a video because i'll feel like i sound annoyed but so i did a voiceover on this reel and i actually like the way it turned out but like i'm like re-watching it back and i'm about to delete it but i'm like i need to stop like i need to stop this part right, came so I'll try this little voiceover thing. Let's see how it goes. So I was going out to dinner and I wanted to figure out which outfit I wanted to wear. So I went to I like the way it turned out, but I'm like, I can't keep listening to it because I'm about to delete. <laughs> okay guys, so I just got in my car. Um I want to share with you guys something scary that happened this morning and this is just for like anybody who has pets y'all be like don't take signs like don't look at things and just be like oh it is what it is like you know your cat you know or you know your dog you know your pet you know your animal like especially if you had them for a while like don't brush things off as just like oh it's okay if you see something that's out of the ordinary like something's going on like you know your animal you know your pet um so yeah um my cat his name is dior um he's about three years old i've had him since he was like four weeks so it's like i've grown to know his habits know his sounds know his purrs like know his attitudes and i thank god every day <laughs> y'all are probably like yo you're a, it's a cat 
it's he's more than a cat y'all like the way I got him was like kind of random um I've never liked cats and I still kind of barely like cats but I love my cat I love Dior and I thank God every day for him because he's like the perfect pet for me he's the perfect pet like he does not um like he's so healthy I don't have problems with him I don't have to like run and take him to the vet he's so friendly he's like he has so much personality like I love Dior so much and honestly sometimes I could cry if I like think about him for too long like I just I love Dior so much and he's literally the perfect pet like he's the perfect cat um everyone who meets him like they're like, you know, I normally hate cats and I can't stand cats, but it's something about Dior. Like, he's just so cute. Like, I love him. So anyways, um, in the mornings, he does this thing where he's so affectionate because I don't, like, sleep with him. Like, I don't let him in my room when I'm sleeping or anything like that. Like, I'm not that type of um, pet parent, um, to, you know, to each their own, but... That's just not me. So anyways, in the mornings, he's always so affectionate and so excited to like for me to hold him and cuddle. Like he's just so cute. So in the morning, we have like our little cuddle time where like I'll go out on the couch and like he'll jump up and like sit in my lap and purr and like rub his little cheeks against like me and stuff. It's so cute. Um, so we were doing that and I noticed like I was holding him and his purrs sounded a little different. Um, it sounded very, like, labored, and I should have recorded it, because something told me to record it and send it to my sister, because my sister, like, I got Dior from, um, her husband, because back home, like, his cat had kittens, so, like, that's how I ended up with Dior. So she knows more about animals. She's, she loves animals. Like, she, this girl, <laughs> Jasmine, like, when we were younger, she used to literally research animals for fun like she would look up like and write down like all the dog breeds and like different things like she was she loves animals okay um so she knows so much about cats dogs animals like she just loves animals so i was gonna record the purr and the sounds from dior's breathing this morning because they sounded different they, they didn't sound like him like but i didn't record it because i'm like i'm just overthinking i'm being dramatic so i didn't do it but my gut was telling me to record it and send it to her the purrs and the breathing sounded so labored and it sounded almost like an old man. Like, I was thinking, yo, I know you're three, but like, shoo, you're still young. Like, why, why does it sound like it's taking you a lot to breathe? Like, it just sounded very labored. And it almost sounded like something was like blocking his breathing. But I was like, I brush it off because I'm like, I'm just being dramatic. I can be an overthinker. So I just didn't think much about it. I let it be. So then I left this morning, I went and I did my little errands, I came back and I was chilling and I was um, sitting there and he was underneath the couch and when he was really little, like, like I said, I had him when he was four weeks, so he was tiny, he would, you know, go underneath the couch all the time, like, that, that was just him. But now, he does not just go underneath the couch like that, like, he's bigger like he doesn't just go underneath the couch I was sitting there and I felt his little nose like rubbing against my ankle and I'm like what the and I look down and he's underneath the couch and that was not like him like that was strange so I was like hmm but I didn't think much of it I just thought maybe he's just being a cat like I don't know so then he comes out from the couch and he hasn't drank water, he hasn't um, ate anything, so I'm just like, whatever, like maybe he's just like, I don't know. So he's just laying, he's just chilling, and then I'm on the phone with my sister, FaceTiming her, and he comes up in front of me and starts like, he, st he has his little tongue out and he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, Dior, because he, like he'll throw up if he eats too fast and too much, but he didn't eat anything at all. So he's just like literally choking and like I'm like what's going on and something told me sometimes he's so snoopy and he'll find random things like you know those like little strings that you cut off from your shirt like the hanger 
helper things sometimes like I'll cut them off and like he'll find them from like my bathroom trash can and like start playing with them but I don't think much of it because I'm like he knows better than to try to eat it like he knows better but he'll just be like playing with it sniffing it so something told me though that I need to start picking that like making sure that he's not playing with stuff like that because he could choke on it but I'm like whatever he knows better Anyways, so he's in front of me, his tongue is sticking out, and there's like a little drool coming out, and he's just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, and he spits up one of the little strings that I've cut from my shirt, so like he choked on it, and I guess he, I don't know when that happened, I cut that string off when I was going out to dinner with my friend, that was on, that was on Thursday night. Um, I cut it and I put it in my bathroom trash can. So he must have like made his way in there, taken the string out, probably was playing with it and swallowed it. And he was, that's why he was acting weird. It was probably blocking his airway and he couldn't breathe. So that's just a sign. If y'all see something that's out of the ordinary with your pet, don't, don't ever look at it and like brush it off. Like go with your gut. You know your animal more than you think you do. So yeah. At this point, the way my hair has been acting, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I'm have to get a relaxer. <laughs> Just kidding. This is what I got last time and it just rinsed out my hair, like it did nothing to it, so I feel like I need something a little stronger. Alright, so I just made, why did I say alright like that? <laughs> alright guys, I just made it to Target Um, I was listening to Drake's album, do y'all like it? Comment down below what y'all think, it's not for me but I'm listening to it. Um, but I'm gonna go in here. Wish me luck, y'all. Every time I go into Target, I spend like, I spend a, <laughs> I spend a lot. And yeah. I just am really going in there to see if they have the conditioner that my mom was telling me about. So, I sh and cat litter and dish soap. So I should really only come out with about three to four things. So let's see if I could pass this test. that my mom was talking about it's the Nexus but I can't remember which one exactly she was talking about cut it here um i don't know whenever it's that time of the month i get really bad headaches but this one is different like i've just been feeling really out of it and i thought i was feeling better like the headache kind of went away but now it's back i think i just need to drink water to be honest so we're gonna go ahead and end this vlog here but i did want to show you guys what I ended up getting. So at Sally's, um, y'all saw, I got the Apogee and then I also got 
Um, it took them so long. They were so busy. So it took a little minute for um, them to come and help me. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, come on. I left the um, developer in the car, but I got this cream color here from Ion. Dior. Y'all, he was literally in my room and he's like he knows when the camera comes out and he just jumps up to try to be in the camera. So y'all say hey to Dior. Okay. Um, but yeah, I got jet black. I got two um, of the colors and I got tin volume developer. I left it in the car along with the Apogee because I am gonna return the Apogee. I'll explain later why. Um, but I also got um these gloves and then um after that y'all saw i went to target and i did complete the challenge you guys i went in for three things i went in for the shampoo and conditioner um dish soap and the cat litter and that is exactly what i left with so i, I made it i made it oh i did get something extra but I needed it, okay? I needed it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So y'all saw I was on the phone with my mom. Um, she recommended me get this product here. This is Nexus. Um, and it was good because it was buy one, get one 50% off. So this is the um, shampoo and conditioner. It's infused with keratin protein. So she was saying that this is going to do really good for my hair with what it's been going through. So that's why I got that. I trust my mama. I trust my mom's. So she told me to get it. So that's that's what we did. And then I told her that I had gotten the Apogee. She was like, take that back. Um, and I was like, okay. Because she was saying if I don't wash it out properly, my hair is going to feel like a straw. And it's going to be brittle. And it's going to start breaking. So I'm like, the water pressure in my apartment is not as strong as like in a salon. So I don't need me messing around, not getting all that stuff out and then my hair start breaking off and snapping off. So I'm gonna take that back. And then plus like, since I have this that has protein in it, I think I'll be good until I can get into a salon and actually get like a professional protein treatment. But I shouldn't be trying to do that by myself because uh, that's the last thing we need. So I trust my mom's opinion, so I'm gonna take that back. Hey y'all, so today's the next day and I wanted to show you guys my hair. I know I said I was gonna close the video out and not show y'all, but I was like, let me get on here and show you guys how it ended up looking. Um, so I did this last night and um, I woke up this morning got ready flat on my hair and now i'm about to step out and enjoy my day but um i just wanted to show you guys the way it looks um so it is jet black i have not had jet black hair like this in probably since like high school i want to say it's been a long time since i've had like black hair perfect i had trimmed my ends like a couple weeks ago um, and honestly, I kind of like my natural hair more than like the extensions and stuff right now just because it's so hot here in Texas, like, and wearing like clip-ins even, the little, uh, extensions, wigs, it's just too much. Like, it feels like I'm walking around with a helmet on my head and it feels like I'm about to pass out because it's just so hot. So something about like having my natural hair just feels so light and airy. I love that I can just like clip it up if I want to, like... I actually really like my hair um, so I've been doing a side part too I feel like it frames my face a little better especially with my um, natural hair pressed out like this more than a um, center part but yeah this is my hair I love the way it looks um, as y'all see I feel like you could tell more of like my lashes but I got a um, kind of more like a cat eye this past time and the links that were used were like 15s or the longest length I have but yeah I actually really love my lashes and um, my skin is still peeling too if you look and see like it's still peeling um, 
so I'm gonna do a face mask when I get back um, but yeah just wanted to get on here close out the vlog the right way showing you guys you know my hair and everything um, but yeah y'all thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up um, subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will see you guys in the next vlog bye guys